Okay guys, so this is uh, Yaxi, this is my sport dog. You guys remember I was saying my sport dog, he was getting all sleepy in the work. So I said, you know what? No more sporty stuff for him for now. We're just gonna do civil stuff. We're gonna do surprise stuff. We're gonna kind of tweak his uh, emotional connection with protection work one way or the other. For those of you wondering, I do actually a lot of this stuff. I shouldn't say a lot, but I do this stuff with my sport dogs just to kind of give them a different look. We've got a surprise for a little yak and he's gonna have to bite through a tarp as well. There's not gonna be a nice, easy presentation and he's biting a bite suit too, which is not something he's used to. So we're gonna kinda see how it goes and do it, Patrick. Who's that? Who's that? Watch him, yeah. Come in on him, come in on him, come in on him. Watch him, yeah. Come in on him. Good. No decoy shit, come in on him. Yeah, and suddenly turn and give him that right. Yeah, dush, dush, Yaxi, dush. Good, dush. And here he's just got tarp. Does he got tarp or does he got you? He's got suit? Yeah. Okay, I can't see anything. Dush, get him, Yax. Good boy, Dush. Good boy, get him, Yaxie. Dush. Good. There, turn and push him a little bit into the building now and put some pressure on him and then let him counter his way out. Dush, Yaxie. Get him, Yaxie. Dush. Get him, Yaxie. Get him. Good. That's good. Good. Let him push him down on this next one. Good, good boy, Yax. Now turn on him and put a lot of like up, down, like down, like, yeah, and then let him push you back. That's true. Good boy. Good boy, Yax. Good boy, Yaxie. Sulpa. All right. Good boy. Good boy. So you can see with a dog like this, he's not a nervy dog. He actually has very thick thresholds. And Patrick, to be honest, Patrick kind of screwed it up. He should have jumped out more sudden. And you can see the dog was just kind of having fun and playing around. And then the decoy stepped out and he still like really didn't care one way or the other. But then when the decoy started moving in on him, he got active. If Patrick had jumped out a little more active, and again, Patrick's a very green decoy, so we give him all the space in the world to kind of learn. If he had come out really strong and active and then really put a ton of forward pressure on the dog, the dog would have gotten active right away. But that's okay, you know? It's part of the learning process, both for the decoy and for the dog. What I saw there was good. The dog was active. The dog came forward once he realized, oh, this guy is a threat. And he nailed uh, Patrick right through the tarp, which is not easy. He was countering and trying to improve his grip. Little experiences like this peppered throughout this dog's career, I think, are going to be the key to keeping him super active and uh, in the right mindset when it comes to protection work. All right, guys, so I'm here with Gage, my competition dog. We did civil scenarios with all the other working dogs that we have here. So why not Gage? We'll do one with him too. We have a competition in actually two days. We're gonna have Tarp Man attack Gage and we're gonna see how that goes. Um, he's in a full body suit, so I'm not so worried that he's gonna get bit in a bad place. Gage has been known to take a leg or two when uh, he gets uh, nervous enough. And the goal again, I know he's gonna get nervous. The question is, what's he gonna do with those nerves? Is he gonna aggress forward? Or is he going to succumb to those nerves and, and, and go to flight? Just a sport dog. Let's find out what he does. So I'm just going to let my dog loose. And I'm just going to kind of walk over this way. I don't want my dog in obedience. I want this to kind of be... I don't think it's going to be. He's, he's, he's already on to something there. Well, my dog's been hearing all the activity, so it's no great surprise. Let's, let's just find out. I'm just going to put my dog in a down. I'm just going to have the tarp man attack me. And then when tarp man attacks me... I just expect the dog to engage and do what he's supposed to do. Now, just hit me. Oh, Darsh, Darsh Gage, Darsh. Darsh, good boy, Darsh. Put some pressure on him, Patrick. Come on, man. Yay. Put some pressure on him, Patrick. Get that thing down on him. Darsh Gage, Darsh. Get him, Darsh. Good, Darsh. There's my ring dog, right? This is an IGP dog. Darsh, good, Darsh. Good boy, Darsh, Darsh. Get him, Gage. And keep your hands away from his mouth. He pops off. He's biting your hand, right? Good. Ouch. 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 Plots. Ouch. Exactly what I was telling you. Plots. When the dog goes into the nerves, we start to see the control go a little bit. I'm not making any corrections here. It's not really about how clean it is. It's about that he was willing to do it and that he got the experience. We're happy with that. I'm going to put Gage away and then I'm going to let Patrick take that bite suit off. Well guys, we did some protection dogs. We did some sport dogs. We did some things that they hadn't seen before. We got to see where the dogs were strong, where the dogs could use a little bit of work. And it was just another good day training here at Shield Canine. If you're interested in our trained protection dogs, 
Check us out, shieldcaninedogs.com. If you're interested in dog training of any kind, doggy daycare, dog training gear, online training, shieldcanine.ca. Check that out. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, comment below. I hope you guys are enjoying this content that no one else is bringing you.